What is up, YouTube? Bro is back with a um, another Labo video, and today I'm going to be explaining how to make Pong. Now, as you can see, I'm using paint just because I don't really have any better way to show you this. So, how I started with making Pong was I made a grid. And this is going to be a really rough grid. I took a piece of paper and I made a 6x10 grid. So, let me just draw these lines real quick. Alright, there we go. And then I started mapping out how many light up nodes I would need. So, like, I would start counting 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, and so on, until eventually, and I'll follow this pattern until eventually it looped back to one, going with ninety-one, and then ninety-two, ninety-three. So let's move down a bit here, and here's how I made the timers and the nodes light up at the right timings. So I'd have them lined up like this and I'll write in L to signify light and then they would all be connected to these nodes that are off to the side with timer nodes that would have a 0.2 second delay between each one and they would be connected like this. So like one line here, one line there. And then whatever I would connect it to next. So this next part would be, since the wall is right here, this would be an AND gate. Let's just write AND right there. And this would need to receive an input from something. But then it would go into a another point two and another L or another light. And you just repeat this process every time you hit a wall. It would go into an AND gate. The AND gate would have to receive a signal from the down button on one of the Joy-Cons. So it would be either the down button on the left or the B button on the right. And if this were higher up on the screen, then it would be the up button or the X button. But I'm just going to say down for now. And here's how I did the lights for right here. So like, they're just really long lights. And let's actually move over a bit. So the wall's here. You've got one light node here, one light node here, and one light node here. So you would have a knot gate here that would light up this one and would also go into a couple and gates for when the light hit this square or this one depending on how you have it set up so the not gate would also go into an and gate to activate that so let's just put an and gate here there so the not gate would receive signals from up or down and these would also go into some and gates as well as you saw right here and that's basically all there is to it so as you hook up the lights you then start placing them on the grid in this pattern so that, that way you have the back and forth going and are pretty much self-explanatory from there hopefully I'm bad at explaining things so this tutorial could either be very good or very bad we'll just see how it goes how the dislikes go in this video just give it a try and if you can't figure it out then I'm sorry this is the best explanation I could I could come up with so I'll see you on the next video bye